Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Italian Super Super Superstar. I was going to say Superstar Supercar on the Amstrad CPC. This is the follow-up to Super Stuntman, which is an absolute classic, um, and this is the sort of upgraded version. I mean, you'll see this lo the loading screen there. It's definitely a Lamborghini. It's actually called a Quadro something or the Quadro blah 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 blah, blah whatever it else is. But either way, this is the kind of follow-up, and as you can see the graphics absolutely stunning. I mean, they really are beautiful. So 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 lovely sort of picture of the supercar in the middle there, the old Lamborghini, which is definitely. Um, some kind of contash. There we go. It goes past there when you push the start button. And basically, it's the same same difference. You're racing the 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 Lambo. It's but it's not a Lambo. Obviously, clearly, it's not a Lambo. Um, but you're trace racing across the desert, sort of. Um, and, and you're the you're the you're the film star that does the the sort of the the thing that goes with this. So so um yeah. Oh no no! I'm gonna blow up because hit that red rock. You don't want to hit the red rocks. The red rocks are bad. So, so very similar to the fact that the first one was really, really well done in the end. It was the graphics were fantastic. If you haven't seen Super Stuntman, I would highly recommend seeing it. Didn't call it Super Stuntman Two though. This game, I'm quite surprised because Super Stuntman, well, from me, was a was a great game. Um, I think you would have been, you know, hard pressed not to 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 find a a a, a, a game as as quite as good as that. You can go across the rocks here. It's quite slow. Um, let's go across these ones. Let's uh, slow down. Go across there. Um, was a really great game and this the concept is the same here you're a stunt, stunt man you get three takes to do to do the, the film that we're doing and going across the rocks is not very good um you get three takes to go across there you've got to go, you know score as many points as you can much action as you can during the whole thing um well, we shoot across and he shot me there and you've got a certain length of time to get to the end of the level, so that's the the general gist of it. It's it's a great little it's a great little game, um, and it's and, and and to be fair, plays really well on everything I've actually played it on. Um, so so I I'm kind of I kind of like these. I think these are good. These are good fun. You have lost the uh, wildness of the the drive that you had on the first game. The first game had this wild sort of drive thing please don't hit the red out of time red red one there i love the car exploded at the end though the graphics are fantastic aren't they somebody's really went to town on it and um, let's put my name in again that's me again let's do that let's give it another try now so 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 we'll give it we'll see if we can actually finish this first level good music as well really good music but as i say really 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 uh, a, a kind of a an upgrade but 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 you've lost some of that wildness of the, the drive but at the same time i don't think it's a massive loss it's a, it's quite nice to be able to do the sort of um super spy sort of thing and if you'd got this as a budget title i think i think without a doubt you'll have been you'll have been quite pleased with this i think this this would have been a, a game that you'd have been quite pleased with i'm trying to avoid going that way because that way i get hit by one of those blooming things there come on get out of the way um, alright, okay. One of those red rock things there that are right in front of me, which are really annoying. Once you get a bit of speed up, though, you really go. You really fly. There we go. There we go. Go on. J over the jump. Brilliant. Jump. And then slow down. Go around this one. Come on. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed up. And then speed up. Avoid the rock. Go on round it if he's, he's going to be like that. We'll do the jump here then instead. That'll do me. No! Landed on the red stuff though. That's the reason why I want to avoid those. First take, second take, we're on it. We've got 28 seconds to finish it though. I think I do think the timing's very harsh. I remember playing it on Spectrum and thinking that, that, that the timing was kind of was kind of close, if that makes sense, about how you would actually make it through the the, the, the levels um, in, in, a, in a timely fashion. It's really quite un. It's untimely in the way it does things. So we're gonna need to go this way, past this one. Oh, no time left. I've got to go past that one, that blooming rock there. It's really hard to get past, and take scene two, and I've got, I'll be, I'll be, I'll not make it. I'm out of time again. Oh, I'm having one more go. I'm having one more go. But I would recommend trying this. It's a budget title. This is a budget title. This is your pocket money. If you'd got this with your pocket money, you'd have been delighted. It's just Moorish. You can actually feel that sort of requirement to kind of keep going and see if you can beat it, and especially with these graphics. I mean, these graphics are amazing. I mean, look at it. There's a, that's that's obviously not a Lamborghini, because they don't say it's a Lamborghini, because, of course, this, this is the time when they start to get into licensing. Um, but but clearly, it's a Lamborghini. We all know it's a Lamborghini. But, but yeah, it's it's honestly, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very good, it's a very, very good game. 
um and i i, I can recommend i can recommend it to to to, to the you know as, as as a game that you you should you should try and play fire up the old amstrad cpc and stick it on there um or or, or stick an emulator on one of the two something like that just to get just have a go on it these games these games should i deserve to be still played if that makes sense this definitely do deserve to be still played they are good games um all right okay move oh that was so unlucky reach past there they got rid of the damage meter on it which is really weird so there's a damage meter on the original one where you could do it so there's like so many constraints on the first one if, if, if i'm honest the, i mean you had damaged you had ah no landed on those again i should have gone via the bridge um you had damage meters and you had you had sort of things that made you, you die like in this case it's those red bricks which are really annoying um you know and and obviously other cars on the way as well but but it's still it's still a fantastic game worth worth every second of your time if that makes sense there's the there's the, the four seconds four seconds three seconds two seconds so harsh that it counts down as you're driving and doesn't reset look zero time how harsh is that anyway I would highly recommend playing that one. I really would. It's really, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Team, and thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.